you'll be so surprised how much your hair and your skin will change just by increasing your hey so what's going on super excited for this video if you are new to my channel welcome to my channel i'm so glad you are here i am a cosmetic chemist specializing in natural hair care and the creator of this amazing channel called curly chemistry well i hope you guys understand your hair and ingredients from a cosmetic chemist perspective and i also help you guys start hair care lines as well and today i am sharing the science behind gray hair and also sharing some practical solutions to treat the dryness the frizziness the lack of manageability that is associated with gray hair now this is a highly requested video and i'm so excited to share this information with you you guys know i don't waste any time let's get started okay number one so when it comes to the science of gray hair we first have to look at hair just as a general just as a whole now in a perfect world our cuticles, our clothes, the moisture is inside. We have a beautiful oil layer around the cuticle called 18 methyl eicosanoic acid, which is a lipid layer that helps to protect the hair. That's all in a perfect world. If we go a little bit deeper, our hair has amino acids within it, keratin, it has oil, it has lipid, it has silica, it has cholesterol, and there's also melanin. And melanin makes up the color of our hair, whether it's black, or brown or red or blonde however as we age as we get older we lose melanin within our hair now with the loss of melanin it's almost like it creates these gaps in our cuticle making it more porous and you may or may not know that hair that is more porous will be much more drier which will lead to breakage and it also is frizzier as well so you have this almost ripple effect just because our hair is losing melanin as we age. On top of that, our scalp produces less sebum. And sebum is important for that moisturization, that moisture retention, I should say. And when you have a lack of sebum production as we age, you get drier hair, you get a drier scalp. So all of these things play a role. However, this is not the end of the world. Let's talk about some practical solutions to help restore that moisture, to get rid of that dryness, that frizziness, and that breakage. Okay, so first up, you definitely want to tackle this internally and externally. So if we focus on internally first, you'll be so surprised how much your hair and your skin will change just by increasing your water intake. Anyone who has like excessively dry hair, brittle hair, drink more water. I love Essentia. That is like bomb.com water in my opinion. So any type of alkaline water will be very hydrating for your system, especially for your hair. Secondly, you guys have been hearing me talk about this very often lately. Get your vitamin D levels checked. Your iron levels check. If you want to go a little bit deeper, get your thyroid levels checked. All of these things that we have to continue to monitor on an annual basis because it all connects to our hair and our scalp. Now for the external piece, okay? Moisture is going to be your best friend. I would opt for more hair masks. If you can get in a hair mask at least once or twice a month on your wash day, that would be ideal because hair masks have a lot of nourishing oils and butters. They typically have a higher content in the formula of oils and butters. They definitely have more cationic ingredients for conditioning the hair. And they're just overall just a high quality treatment for the hair, especially for gray hair. So I would definitely increase that process. The second thing I would do is look into some DIY hair masks. If you like to mix things, you like to cook at home, um, I have a great recipe in the Practical Solutions for Natural Hair Care, my newest ebook. I have a great DIY hair mask, super easy, very easy, very effective, definitely check it out if you haven't done so already but hair mask in this season of your life is going to be a game changer and a hair saver as well the next thing is your moisture cycle now you may need to increase how often you moisturize your hair or opt for a different moisturizer so if you're currently using something and it's not doing it for you you may have to look at other moisturizers a few good ones um, are the lush revive 
moisturizing cream I just talked about this in the previous video um, there's also the the Kuza black castor oil moisturizing cream that's really good Aussie moist leave-in conditioner the the curls I'll put it up here that one and also the Afigy Pro Vitamin Leave-in Conditioner just to name a few you know those are some great moisturizers to look into I highly recommend those but yeah you may have to increase your moisturization to like once a day you know instead of going once every three days it may need to be once a day so play around with it and see how your hair responds remember always seal that moisturizer and moisturizing our hair is a two-step process and also with moisturization being the goal opt for a good moisturizing shampoo a moisturizing conditioner i have a few in the practical solutions for natural hair care that i recommend for your hair type definitely check that out guys if you haven't done so because a lot of challenges that we experience on a daily basis for our hair our hair is going to be in that ebook so definitely check it out i'll post the link below and last but not least i would say try to avoid excessive amount of heat in your hair care regimen it's okay to use heat from time to time but just don't go overboard don't, don't, don't go crazy with it always have a heat protectant and then of course avoid you know being harsh with your hair when it comes to styling it brushing and combing it all the things you really want a tlc give as much tlc to your hair especially for gray hair all right guys hope you've enjoyed this video and learned something new i'm so glad i was able to present this information to all of you especially after you guys have requested this video i hope you enjoyed it for more curly chemistry content be sure to like this video subscribe for more content and hit the notification bell to stay in the loop for more curly chemistry content um and of course i do have a question for you i am so curious what is your wash day frequency like how often do you guys wash your hair are you uh once a weeker are you a once every two week or you know like what? like how often do you wash your hair and the second part of the question is what is usually your attitude towards your wash day are you like excited are you like dreading it like oh here we go again or are you just like yeah it is what it is blah you know like comment below how often do you wash your hair what's your attitude towards your wash day let us all know and i cannot wait for the conversation with you and if you have not heard i have a new ebook titled the practical solutions for natural hair care i have literally taken the top challenges that we experience for our hair type whether that's dry scalp dry hair oily scalp hair loss hair growth all the things shedding breakage into this book and I, and I provided practical solutions for each of these challenges and so many women and men are seeing some great results with these solutions myself included okay so definitely check it out if you've not done so already i'll put the link below for you with more information and then also if you have not heard i am now offering one-on-one -on -one hair care advice consultations so if you've ever wanted to work with me one-on-one -on -one about your hair your scalp any type of challenges you are experiencing i will create a customized hair care plan for you but not only that you have a few options we can i can send you the plan via email or we can do the customized plan plus a phone call with me one-on-one -on -one, or you can do a customized hair care plan plus a video zoom call with me for more information i'll put the link below for you as well and if you're interested in starting a hair care line no matter where you are in the world you work with me one-on-one -on -one, and i have a link below for you as well with more information all right guys i love you i'll talk to you guys soon bye